Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today we're going to be building an avatar generator using HTML5 Canvas and JavaScript. Okay, so this right here is going to be the finished result. As we can see, we've got three beautiful avatars right there and this right here is very easy to achieve. And the main benefit of doing this is going to be to reduce your network traffic. Okay, so for example, instead of generating your avatars on the server side, you can do it on the client side instead and that right there is going to save you a uh, request to the server and also speed up your application or your web page okay so let's go inside this tab right here and begin from scratch to of course create what we just saw okay so the first step is going to be to create a new image tag right here and this will simply uh, hold the actual avatar so we can just say for example an ID of avatar we're going to be uh, automatically inserting the source with JavaScript later on so we can remove the source attribute right here and have as the alt text something like avatar okay so now let's move on to the JavaScript right down here so the way it's gonna work is we're gonna be using a main function and this function is gonna take through a couple of things which we want the avatar to include these include things like the text, the foreground color, and the background color. Okay, so let's make a new function right inside here called generate avatar. And then of course, we're gonna take through, like I just mentioned, the actual text. Then we're gonna take through the foreground color. And lastly, we're gonna take through the background color just like that. So you may wish to have default um, values for these right here. For example, I'll just drop these down a line. So you can have something like this where you have foreground color equal to white by default, then something like uh, black for the background color. So now if the user or the programmer uh, doesn't pass through, uh, you know, values for these two arguments right here, then they're going to be the default of white and black. Okay, so the first line of this function is going to be to create a new canvas to actually draw on. So we're going to make a new constant right here uh, called canvas equal to document.createElement right inside here and then we can pass through canvas. And of course this right here is going to act as our drawing board for the avatar. Okay, so the next line as per usual is going to be context equal to canvas dot, uh, get context right inside here and then we're going to pass through 2D and this one right here is going to allow us to draw on the canvas itself. So the next step is going to be to set the width and height for the finished image. So we're going to say canvas dot width is equal to something like 200 and then do the exact same thing for the height. Okay, so uh, next up, we're going to be setting the background color. So we're going to say right inside here, draw background. So uh, the way it's going to work is basically we're going to be drawing a huge rectangle to cover the entire width and height of the canvas. So we're going to say right inside here, uh, context dot fill style is equal to the background color which the user has passed in. So of course this right here is simply just setting the background color or sorry it is setting the fill color for our next uh, command. So the next command is going to be uh, context dot fill rect right inside here and then for the fill rect or fill rectangle uh, method we're going to pass through 0 and 0 which just means uh, start drawing in the top left corner for the x and y and then for the width we're going to pass through uh, the background color right there you know what no we're not we're going to pass through uh, canvas dot width uh, my mistake sorry about that then of course for the last argument we're going to pass through canvas dot height right there so now we're going to pause right here and we're going to try to see our progress. So let's actually go down here. We're going to say document.body.appendChild and then we're going to pass through the canvas right here. So now we're going to be able to see what we're actually doing. Okay, so let's actually now call the generate avatar method and then pass through here. Um, something like uh, DC, short for decode, for the text. And then we can say for the foreground color, let's pass through white. And then for the background, we can pass through 009578, just like that. So now, saving this, we get something like this in the browser. So of course, we have our background of the canvas. So now, let's move on to actually writing up the text 
for the center. So right here, we're going to say draw text. And the first step here is going to be to set the font, uh, the, um, the actual font property. So we're going to say uh, context uh, dot font is equal to something like bold, then 100 px and then you're going to put your your actual font family so i'm going to be using the assistant font i find it works quite nicely i also find that certain fonts uh, don't work too well uh, with the vertical and horizontal centering of the text so just keep that in mind but i find the assistant font right here is going to work quite nicely so uh, moving on now we're going to say uh, context.fill style is going to be equal to uh, the foreground color so once again just like it was up here, we are simply just setting the field color for the next command. So now we can say context.textAlign is equal to center. And this right here is going to horizontally center our text. And the, and the next one is going to be uh, context.textBaseline. And um, the actual text baseline property is going to uh, vertically center our text. So of course right here, we're going to say middle. And the last step is going to be to say context.fill uh, fill text is equal to, my mistake, it's going to be a method call. And we're going to say text as the first argument. And then we're going to say canvas.width divided by 2 for the center. And then canvas.height divided by 2 once again for the center. So now this right here is going to be filling in or actually drawing our text which of course we pass in. So now saving this and going inside the browser, we can see right here we have essentially our finished result. So we can now actually uh, place this image right here into the image tag so we can use it as normal. So this is going to be done through using data URLs. Okay, so we're going to be creating a new data URL from the canvas itself. So right here, we're going to replace this document body uh, append child line with return right here then we're going to say canvas uh, dot to data url then of course uh, pass through here something like image slash png so now this right here like i just mentioned is going to give us a data url of png for the actual uh, avatar so this data url we can actually see what it actually is so we can just say right here if i open up the console and i then console.log the results of our generate avatar method we get this right here as we can see it's a bunch of random characters but if i open this in a new tab we can see the browser knows how to read the data url so now it's going to be the case of just putting this url right here into our image tag so we can just say right down here for example document dot uh, get element by id then we can say avatar right inside here and then we can say dot source is equal to generate avatar right down here and then we can pass through dc then we can say white for the foreground color then we can just say let's just do once again 009578 for the background color right here and now we're going to get this right here so um, that's all done so how do I actually or or should I say how did I um, make that circle so to make it circle I simply just put some styles on this image so we can say right up here in CSS style tags we can say avatar the ID then we can say border dash radius equal to 50% so now it's gonna make that a circle so that right there is how to generate your avatars using JavaScript and HTML5 canvas I'll be leaving a link to uh, this code right here in the description below if you want to check that out uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video